something. Best in North Face San Antonio for the Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't even, I lost count of how many times I played in the series. Yeah. Uh, it's always a fun, grinded out series, you know, uh, smart, smart team that makes adjustments. It feels like every possession almost, so that's how good they are. And uh, we look forward to playing. San Antonio is a great environment to play basketball in. And, you know, it should be a good series. How does it feel to finally just know who you're going to play after uh, yeah, it's, co it's cool to know since we can prepare now. You know, uh, I've been on teams where we knew who we were playing for at least a week, you know, so it's a little different now. But I'm glad we got that out the way. Regular season's over. We can start the playoffs and looking forward to going out there and playing. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, he hasn't played all year and we haven't heard anything about him coming back. So. I mean, obviously, if we get any information about that, we'll prepare the right way. But for now, we just you know, prepare, about, prepare for the team that they have now. What do you get from working out with Nash? Uh, just, uh, you know, just uh, thinking about the rhythm of the game, the efficiency of the game, and how to, you know, uh, not waste any movements out there. Probably the most efficient basketball player that's played uh, from every angle of the court. Um, shooting the ball, shooting the three, shooting the mid-range, just about everything he can do. So, you know, it's a, it's an honor that I get to learn from a, a guy like that. And, you know, just trying to soak up as much knowledge as I can and make me a better player as well. Does he talk to you a lot while you're out there? Is he coaching you up? Uh, talking to him? I mean, but at this point in my career, I pretty much, you know, when it comes to knowledge, we're pretty much on the, yeah. uh, on the same level, as, especially because of experience, you know what I mean? So this is him just keeping me aware of some stuff I may, I may forget about out there, and, um, you know, but he's been, he's been great, you know, he's been sharpening me up throughout the you know, whole two years that I've been here, so I'm very grateful for him. You also learned about the resiliency of this group over the last month, when, you know, all four All-Stars were out at some point, and you guys just you've dealt with a lot over this stretch. So, so have a lot of teams. So we're trying to move on and, you know, uh, figure it out, keep figuring it out, keep getting better. So. Did you learn anything about some guys on your team and how they were able to take on greater roles? I always knew everybody on our team had a, you know, a good spirit, a good uh, energy for the game. You know, we might have lost some games and had some tough stretches, but, you know, that doesn't define uh, everybody here as an individual player. So kind of positive on, um, you know, Optimistic on you know each of these guys and how we approach the game, no matter what the score is. Some of those games, so uh, you know, glad we can uh, kind of learn from those tough times and continue to move forward. But glad that uh, we can go into the postseason healthy at least and uh, get ready for a good series. You, you, you face them obviously, but you never face them. Sorry, uh, he's a 20-point scorer in this league at, at one point. You know, a guy that can still score the ball, somebody that can give another punch off the bench. And uh, we know that uh, we can't forget about Rudy no matter, you know, how many other people are forgetting about him as a player. And we know how good he is, especially me, playing the same position. Um, so he gives him another punch from a, a guy that can score, uh, who's long and athletic as well, the guard on different positions. So um, we got a work cut out for, for us when, we, when he comes into the game. You guys have been talking about flipping the switch a lot recently. Do you feel that you've located the switch and are in the process of flipping it? I don't think there's anything called flipping a switch. I just think uh, now we can focus in on what we always do good here. Um, it's flying around on defense, moving the basketball. Uh, now that we know our matchup, I think it's a little easier to prepare for a team when you know you're going to play them for a week. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't call it flipping a switch. It's just kind of knowing that to lock in on certain sets, certain players, uh, and certain tendencies. You know, when you're playing in the regular season, you know, it switches up every single game. You don't know who you're playing. You know, back to back, you're traveling. You know, I think this flipping the switch comes from just the focus part of it. Um, I think uh, physically everybody is pretty cool, but to, to mentally, just knowing who, who you're going to guard and how you're going to try to score on them, I think that's when you just kind of lock in on those things because we got one team we're playing against for the next four games, at least. Are you prepared to face Kawhi at all, or are you operating under the assumption that he's going to play? I don't know. I'm prepared to face anybody. I'm just prepared to play. I just got to worry about me um, and how I can help the team win. And, uh, you know, it's hard enough focusing in. Coming in every single day, trying to work as hard as I can to get better, so I can't focus on anybody else. And whatever whatever's thrown out there, I'm ready to play against.
Kevin, what, what do you say about about those that, that say maybe you need to you need to do more or be a leader more? What does be a, what does be a leader mean? Be the be the number one guy, if it, you know, because you said Steph is the system. It's just that that discussion point of you need to be the one because Steph isn't around for that first round. What, what do you think of that whole? I felt like narrative? I've been. I, I felt like I've proven myself on the court all season. Uh, I don't know what being a leader is because everybody chips in, everybody leads by their voice every single day. Andre might say something one possession, then I might say something. Draymond and goes down the line then you know we got coaches so we do this a collaborative effort it isn't just one guy that voice is just louder than everybody else it's just a collaborative effort on the basketball court as well so uh, I don't really I don't really understand what that means but I come to play every single night and you know what you're gonna get out of me and um, play as hard as I can I may not make every shot uh, but I'm, I go out there trying to be a great player and I work like it every single day so that's what I bring to the team uh, I lead by example uh, you know, if I got something to say, I'll say it. If not, I'm not just going to say a bunch of stuff just so I can be looked at as a leader. I'm a, if I say something, it's going to be impactful. Was it a relief to finally find out who you were playing? And considering all the teams that were in play, what do you think generally about the Spurs? As a uh, respect them a lot. We know how tough it is to play those guys. They don't beat themselves, and I think that's the key in the playoffs. you got to be solid. They're a solid defensive team. They play extremely hard on the offensive end. Um, they move the ball, so we, we they present a different challenge for us, and we're looking forward to playing against. Them. Kevin is Andre one of those guys that flies under the radar, but come playoff time can make a huge difference. Uh, yeah, I want I want to say flies under the radar because we, we see him every single day, and we know what he can bring to the team. And he's uh, even though it doesn't show up in the stat sheet every night, um, he definitely comes out and plays a solid game every time, every every night. You know, when he's playing, you know, from defending, getting deflections. You know, pushing the basketball, rebounding, doing the little things. I think that's what stands out about Andre. And we're looking forward to having him out there. And uh, hopefully yeah, he has a great series. Kevin, you talked about how well coached the Spurs are. What, what's the signature of the part of team in your mind as an opposing player? Well, they don't, beat, them, uh, they don't beat themselves. Uh, they don't make silly mistakes. Filing at the end of shot clocks. Um, not getting back on defense. Uh, just shooting bad shots. Just shooting shots just to shoot them. Uh, you know they play a solid basketball game, solid, solid overall game on both ends of the floor. Uh, they don't, they rarely foul because they play straight up, contest at the rim well, and they don't foul shooters. Just the small things that can lose you a game, they don't really do. Um, they might not have all the scoring that they usually have with Kawhi being out, uh, but they make up for it in the other things, and so that makes them a different, different matchup. What have you heard? Last one. Play for Papa. What's it like to play for Papa? Obviously, you have. Oh, I just heard it's just always about basketball. Um, you know, when you get in this league, you can have a lot of uh, layers on top of the game. And uh, but layers that really don't mean anything when it comes down to, you know, tipping the ball up. Um, whether it's contracts, whether it's, you know, fame, whether it's jersey sales, shoe sales, ticket sales. It's about playing a, playing a game with pop. That's what I've heard. And, you know, there's a reason why they keep everything kind of tight-lipped and just focus on playing the game and Pop doesn't really indulge in the the, the, the in-game interviews and the, the, you know, <laughs> that type of stuff because it's always about the game and I can appreciate that. Kevin, if there was one overriding thing that you guys could tighten up as a team going into the playoffs, what would it be? I think for us to continue to uh, tighten up our defensive shell, uh, do a great job in the pick and roll of fighting over the basketball, fighting over the screen and get back in front. Um, you know, I think those are two things that we really have to continue to keep getting better at. I think offensively, we continue to keep moving um, our bodies and moving the basketball. Uh, we'll be fine. But defensively, just, you know, uh, locking in on our man, guard one-on-one, -on -one, but also playing great pick-and-roll defense. At this point in the season, are you a little beat up? Like, I feel good. I feel good. Uh, I feel great. I uh, look forward to playing, man. No treatments, no... No, I just you get treatment every day, uh, just to stay ahead of stuff. But for the most part, I think uh, just about everybody who's out here is healthy. You don't do those cold things, do you? The cold deal? Yeah, do you I do. do those? Yeah, yeah. How often? Uh, just about every every day, almost yeah. after every practice. I try to try to do it after every practice. Put you ice in after every game, stuff like that, just to stay. Like I said, stay ahead of anything that may happen. Yeah. A lot of guys in the team. Yeah, it's, it's a part of being a professional. You have to do it. Fun uh, three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is.